YouTube, what's the word? We're back. This is salary cap. They've been asking me, play salary cap, play salary cap, play salary cap. Can I see your team? Can I see your scheme for salary cap? Is it different? Well, that's what I'm locked in on right now. And you can see I'm playing. She was only 15. This is clearly some creep name. I matched up with this gamer tag right away. I don't know who it is. You know, one of those guys that wants to keep a secret who it is. I mean, that's cool to each his own. That's not my twist. Any offense or defense you see in this game will be found below in the Man Turf link. Also, you can watch these games live on my Twitch link. It's below in the description. Also, if you like to play with money, you think your game is up to the point where you can start playing for money, there is a link for Players Lounge below. Please hit that, deposit, and it's the best site you can play for money on. A lot of great features there and a great place to go ahead and be part of the community and go ahead and see if you're ready to play for money. I mean, you don't have to play for $100. It could be $5, $3, $8, whatever it may be. To see where your, your level of competition is at now. And obviously, this is salary cap here. I think I'm running. I am running Tyreek Hill, Randy Moss, Tevin Coleman at tight end. Oh, no, Tevin Coleman at running back. Uh, Gurley at tight end. And uh, is it Philip Dorsett? Yeah, Dorsett, the fast guy from the Patriots. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's my uh, five skill position players. Obviously, Michael Vick. And you see, I'm getting A gapped. User Rush Spy Blitz A Gap or something like that. I don't know what exactly this is. First time I played against it, and the first time he ran it, he ran right up and tackled Michael Vick. So when I get to an early fourth down, what I want to do here is see he wants to A Gap Blitz me again. So I'm going to either hit Gurley in a flat, or I'm going to hit Tyreek Hill on a curl, or Moss over the middle, or Dorsett over the middle. I'm, most of my running back to the left, he doesn't blitz, he lurks, but I'm still able to hit this curl route over there on the left because he had to run with Randy Moss. Here he goes again. Boom. A gap right through my A gap. I, there's obviously nothing I can do if nobody's going to touch him. But here we can fire a nice little dot to Randy Moss here. So pretty much the rest of the game, I had to figure out how to stop this A gap right there. I slide left. It stops it, but allows the right end to come free. So sliding left is not an option. So this is just an example of that as I hit the nice comeback route here. Example of labbing within the game. This is a defense I have never seen before. I've never played against. So I'm just trying to find a way to block it and be consistent. But I'm doing a good job moving down the field. The one thing about a user rush is you lose your, your lurk in the beginning of the you lose your lurk over the middle of the field, so you're able to hit some more passes easily. And here we go, trying to run the ball, and then we get to the two yard line. Todd Gurley fighting, run a stretch here, gets blocked. I didn't think that corner would get blocked, so I went for a truck, but he wound up dig getting blocked. If I ran straight, that was a touchdown. So I had to settle for three on the first drive. Not bad. I have to find a way to block this A gap a little bit more consistently if I want to continue to move the ball fairly well. It looks like this guy knows what he's doing. Obviously, to have some have some crazy A gap like this is something that we haven't seen in a while in Madden. In this uh, particular game, I started off running 3 through 5 odd. It's something that I like to run on a lot of people, but personally, I think I'm a lot better defensively in dollar, and against good people, I feel like I need dollar to go ahead and stop them. As he'll go down the field fairly easily, his first drive against 3 through 5 odd. He goes a nice little running back. I believe that's a running back wheel with an out route to take away the flat zone. He can hit the wheel there to Tevin Coleman. Runs a little draw again, gets more yards. He's down to the 11. And this guy actually had Mike Allstott at tight end, and he's using him to run the ball as well. Gets down to seven. Now, this is an obvious run commit situation. You know, he just got four yards on a run. He's third and one. He's probably thinking I want to run commit, so I'm not going to run commit. I'm going to play zone. I put Clowney in the spy. He snaps the ball. I see a little wheel route over here. I know Mustafa Jones tried to do something like that last year. Send the clown to spy. I try to go for a strip there. Just a little bit too slow to get the best player in the game, Michael Vick. That's why we have Michael Vick. There's no other quarterback that's running away from Clowney like that. He was able to get that edge on Clowney. Good play, not run coming by me. And Tyreek Hill is going to go ahead and break a little tackle here and then get gone. You know that's what Tyreek Hill does once he sees the seam. When you can stiff arm somebody and get the open field with Tyreek Hill is always good. Now you want to run here and try to possibly take two more seconds off the clock. Because, boy, I'm glad I got that touchdown. That was a, a sigh of relief. I don't have to play against that A-gap. I'll go ahead and got my touchdown. I'm up three points now. I got a minute left in the game. Here's three timeouts. This is the biggest possession in the game. He gets the ball to half. I can't give up any points here. Definitely can't give up a touchdown. That's going to be devastating. Lawrence Taylor tries to strip the ball out. Tyree Hill holds on to it. Here goes those underneath here. Patrick Peterson could not stay with Tyree Hill. That's why Tyree Hill is pretty much a must for every team. Here goes the nation's verticals. Amos Kenneth strip big all stop there, you know. So he's moved the ball fairly well right here. And we actually get a scream hit. I don't know where he was throwing the ball. Hopefully, <laughs> wish he was throwing it at hard flat. We scream again and he mosses me in the middle of the field. He did two people run. He just chucked it up. Mossed me there. 
able to get loose with Michael Vick here. Nobody got any pressure right there. We strip him, but I think he was holding RB where you won't fumble. He's running out of time here. There's really nowhere for him to go with the ball. Going to concede my field goal here. 11 seconds left. He's going to run a little wheel route. I run over there and cover it. He gets an overthrow rather than me. Hopefully knocking it back in bounds and getting a pick on it. He goes verticals again. I just can't. These two chucks, I need to get a pick on one of those. Hopefully. But he's able to go down the field, get his field goal. Tie the game up at halftime. Uh, I'm a little uh, shook right now. I got a field goal. I got a kick return touchdown. He went down the field pretty easily on my 3-3-5 odd, and this A-gap blitz is something I'm going to have to find a perfect way to block it in the second half of this game. But all the cards are on the table now, and that's what you want as a man player. to adjust from here. That's what it's about. So I think this half, I know a salary cap, you can only really design your defense for one formation, but I have a couple 10 caps that are fast enough to go in and play a little dollar here. I'm still 3-3-5 odd here because that's how my team is, is designed this, this season. I wanted to switch and start running dollar here. This is a little DB fire I ran. He's able to get out, take another hit with Vic. I mean, I, Vic needs to get a ball up. Here we go, a little cover three. Would have spied those with a little drag underneath with Tim Brown. He went for the spin. Another good defense here. I was able to cover the corner route, hard flat, so he can't throw the drag, send the spy. Just make him work a little bit more when I'm in this dollar. Once again, we're sending three. Melvin Ingram gets in. Big sack right here. We get onto a, a third and 19. He's able to hit the drag underneath, but Pat Pete makes a play, and this is the biggest play defensively for me of the game. I've been playing covers most every play since then, and here I go to coverage again. I think 4th and 12, in hindsight, I wish I would have blitzed right here, but he does a good job running the corner route to fade and a curl to all style in the middle, which I was afraid of. I sat on. I should have covered the, the corner route. I played the sticks. I thought the deeper uh, flat zone would go ahead and, and guard the corner route, but it did not. He was able to throw the corner route into the end zone. That was a nice job by him. Uh, drawing up that play with a curl route there, all spot in the middle of the field that I had to respect. So, let's talk about the end zone. Here goes going to all spot over the middle, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Those are flat right here. I ran a little spinner or pinch or something like that, three, four odd. 30, he runs a little uh, stretch with Tevin Coleman, able to get perfect blocking. I mean, Clowney got mauled, Melvin Ingram got mauled. I have a great front seven with this team, and these got mauled. And it was 12 plays. Didn't really give up too many big plays, but it was a nice drive. Here he goes with a little scum kick because I did return the last kick, so he should have scum kick. Here I go, motion my running back over to the left to block this A-gap, and that did not work at all. He sent everybody an A-gap to me with Apke. Three sacks so far with Apke. Here he goes, runs a little DB fire. I actually do get caught up. Get to a third and long. DB fire again, but he comes down and gives me the scene to Ty Gurley. That's why I love him at tight end. People have mentioned McCaffrey and other 5'11", 5'10", running backs. No, I like Gurley because he has a little bit of height. Can go with the ball. Here goes A-gap. I stopped the A-gap there. Able to hit the drag over the middle. Get a nice little 12-yard gain. Run the ball. Hopefully, I don't have to deal with this A-gap. Run the ball. Hopefully, get some 14 yards rushing there. That, that's pretty good. Need to score a touchdown. That's what this drive's about. He gets a great shed there by Melvin Ingram because I would have had my big post over the middle. Underneath here to Gurley. Fights forward. Gets me a cool eight on the flat route. That's what you always want. Here we go. Nice read over here. He guards the curl finally, which I've done about four times this game. Able to hit Moss over the middle. I use a timeout. 24 seconds left. Throw the ball underneath the Coleman. I think that's Jalen Ramsey makes a great tackle. 21 seconds left. I only have one timeout left. Boom. We go curl, curl route to the wide side. We get down to the two. Got to use our burner right here. 15 seconds. I have four plays. I don't have any tight ends with this lineup, which kills me. I want to throw the high ball to the in route there. Boom. But I noticed he manned up the in route. That's what I noticed that play. It could have been a pick, but you throw a high to Randy Moss. So what I want to do is I want to give my in route a little bit more space if he's going to man it up. I have three more chances to throw the ball in the end zone, so three more plays. What I want to do is switch to the wide side because I know I have 10 cap tight ends, so they're not really an option. Normally, Delaney Walker would be an option for me on this play, throwing a high ball to the back of the end zone. But he's not. I'm, I saw the Moss or Tyreek Hill, I and mean, he has more space now. I know I can't high ball it. He's manned up again. I let Tyreek Hill just beat it with that speed. Thread the needle in there for the game tying touchdown. People will always tell you go over two, but I, I just want to extend the game. I feel like I'm better than everybody that plays this game. The longer the game, the more chance I am to go ahead and uh, overcome the game. Should have squib kicked here. I was talking to the chat. Was not paying attention. Have to cover this kick, and I do so. That's a good job by, I don't know who that is. 36, good job, 36. Some 10 cap. So, 
he wins the coin toss in overtime, that's okay. I feel fine. No touchdowns, no big plays, no corner route, no streak down the middle of the field. He's in bunch. And that, I mean, there's not really that many huge plays in bunch. No posts, no streak down the middle of the field, no deep corner route. That's pretty much where I'm at when it comes to bunch. No big plays. He's going to make a mistake. And the kickoff, he gets tackled at the 35. So that's a decent return. First play, draw. And Clowney just takes Tevin Coleman's face mask off. Here you go. Second play, he runs a little two drags, the post. And this is why we have Apke, 87 speed, 6'2", able to go pick that off, get the ball back in overtime, and that's what I needed. Big play right there. Got the ball in overtime. All I need is a field goal now. Able to hit this little curl route again right there. He played hard flats underneath. Here we go. We try to mix a little verticals in, but he actually he gave me a touchdown on the last play, but I covered it there. And here we go. This was the play of the game. He bluffs the spy blitz. He gets in for like five yards, then drops back. You'll see here how he bluffs the spy blitz right at the bat, then drops back. I learned a lesson on this. I do a pick. I will never throw that that early over the middle of the field without high balling it. A high ball there, and I win the game. But I do it regular. He makes a play, and here he hits the post over the middle. I expected my zones to play that. Did not play them. Of course, I get the strip fumble out of bounds. But that's going to be how we lose the game. On a spy blitz bluff pick where I should have high balled. That was the play of the game. It happens to the best of us. Good play by him. Able to be able to fake the spy blitz and then come come back and get the pick with Apke. Apke got a pick for me. Also got a pick for my man right here. And also gave up the post, but I talked about it. I didn't want to give up in overtime, but I gave it up. I expected my zones to play. I had a plan for that play. It just did not work the way I designed it. But that was a great salary cap game. It's show, kind of show you how to deal with the defense the first time you see it. And that's kind of take a throwback to all the Maddens in, the, in my past life when you first see a, see a Nano Blitz and you really have nothing you can do when you first see the Nano. And it really sometimes you'll probably lose every game when you first see a defense that screams like that that, that much. Here you see he's past my center right here, rushing and drops back. But both of these guys were open. I just got a high ball that I'm at the 35-yard line. I need a couple more runs so I get a field goal. But because I do it regular, he was able to pick it off. That was a great game, though. Please hit the like button. Please sub to the channel. I'm trying to keep growing this for y'all. Bring y'all more gameplays. Twitch link below if y'all want to watch live.